your credit score doesn't really matter. Well, until it does, that is. Credit scores are most important for buying a house, but they can also be used for other purposes, including home utilities and even for renting by landlords considering you as a potential renter. When your credit needs to be fixed, you often need it to happen fast. I've seen people improve their score by as many as 150 points in a two-month period by understanding and utilizing the methods I will teach you in this video. Before getting to what you need to do, you need to understand how your credit score works. If you understand what goes into a score, it's easy to make small but impactful adjustments. There are five parts to your credit score. Let's talk about them in order from greatest to least impact. First and most impactful is paying your bills on time, specifically those bills that report to credit bureaus. What reports to credit bureaus? Normally only loan accounts or credit cards. In the hundreds of credit reports I have reviewed, less than 1% have utilities like power or internet reporting, unless those accounts were sent to a debt collector. So how much of an impact on your score does on-time payments make? A whopping 35%, which out of 850 points possible, can be responsible for a difference of almost 300 on your total score. Do everything you can to stay up to date on payments. I have all my payments on an automatic withdrawal from my bank account and always keep an extra thousand dollars in my checking, just in case I forget about a bill. Second is a little known secret to credit scores. At a whopping 30% of your score, revolving utilization is almost as important as on-time payments. What exactly does that mean? Well, revolving debt refers to lines of credit, like credit cards, with a set limit that can be used, repaid, and used again. Revolving utilization is how you use those lines of credit. Your best score comes from keeping your balance on these lines to 30% or less than what is made available to you. This is a cumulative score, meaning that if you were to have two credit cards with a limit of $500 each, your total revolving lines would add up to $1,000. In this case, you would want to keep your total balances on each to be $300 or less. Another tip, credit card companies report to the bureaus once a month, typically when your statement cuts. If you're wondering what day your statement cuts, pull up a few recent statements and see what the date is. Mine is usually around the 17th of each month. As long as my balance is paid to zero before the 15th, my utilization will show as low as 1%. I pay each of my credit cards off in full each week to ensure the full points in this major category. It's this part of the score that is often the most impactful and can improve your score in as little as one month. Third is your length of account history. This one is by far the hardest to improve because there is no substitute for time and your best score in this category doesn't come until seven to 10 years after your first account is opened. Because of its importance, here are a few things you need to know about this aspect of your score. The length of account history is based off of your oldest open account. This is part of what hurts your score when a credit card is closed, especially if the card you close was your oldest open account. I should note that while talking about that, the prior category of revolving utilization is the other reason your credit might dip, particularly if you were carrying large balances on revolving lines and suddenly reduce your lines available. So to really help account history, a credit card is best, preferably a low cost card with no annual fee that you will use at least every couple of months. Many banks offer a good starter card that fits that criteria. Length of account history makes up 15% of your score. The last two categories make up 10% each, new credit and types of credit used. New credit includes the number of credit inquiries you have had in the last 12 months, but also how many new accounts you have opened in that same period and the length of time that has passed since opening new accounts. Too many inquiries can indicate cash flow issues in a borrower that is too dependent on credit. Your best score in this category comes within five inquiries or less in a 12 month period. There is an exception, which is that credit bureaus usually allow for rate shopping so that when you purchase a home or a car and check rates at multiple places, it impacts your score only as a single inquiry. Too many new loans opened up recently also indicate a higher probability of mismanagement and default, resulting in a lower score. Finally, the last 10% portion of your score is credit mix. 
It's considered best to have three or more credit accounts, preferably with different types of loans, including lines of credits and term loans. This offers proof that you can manage different types of credit well. As promised, here's how you can fix your score fast using what we have talked about. Set up auto pay to ensure your payments are made on time. Keep revolving balances low by paying lines of credit to zero before your statement comes out each month. Open a low cost credit card you can keep open forever and have a variety of accounts and don't open too many accounts at the same time. Credit scores impact so many things and when you need to use them, you want them to be the best they can be so that you can save money on interest rates and make the loan process as smooth as possible. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Talk to you next time.